Hey guys, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube channel. If you want to see catches like this, stick around, like and subscribe. Here's what's coming up. So what I'm looking for here on my sounder are little waves on the bottom, as you can see. So there's little waves here. And this is where your whiting are going to hang in these little areas here. So that's absolutely perfect. These little waves here, 100%. Now, if I go up a bit further, it's going to level out. You'll see that in a second on this particular unit. So if I put my anchor up about another 30 or 40 feet in front, I should be able to then hold back and fish these little zones. So if you have a sounder on your boat, that's what you want to be looking for. And when it starts to level out, you've gone too far past it. Now we found our whiting spot where we're going to fish, obviously, but one thing I do want to talk to you about is why my tip is white and what have I done here to my rod? Yes, I love painting the tips white, particularly if I'm night fishing. So this is my night fishing outfit. There are a couple of different reels that I use. This is the little Sienna 1000. It's a fantastic size little reel. It's great for around that six pound fluorocarbon leader and around eight pound braid. And it's a one to three kilo squidgy spin stick. I've got my number four long shank hook there and I've also coming out to about a 60 centimetre litre to just a brass or a black crane rolling swivel and through to a ball sinker. And that sinker will change depending on the current that's running through at the moment. But back to the tip. So what I've done here, you can use things like liquid paper, paint works as well. But just at night time, you can see these rod tips behind me. They stand out like you know what, okay? If you had just your standard rod that you bought that was a dark colour, against the black background, you will not see the bites. It's just going to absolutely send you amazingly crazy. So what you need to do is just put that white on there, bit of paint, bit of liquid paper, anything like that. So where the light on the boat is just gonna make it blast out. You can also put a little bit of a, a glow stick if you wanted to. Uh, glow sticks there, you can put the rubber band around them, but it just puts a little bit too much weight on it. I can find that. So maybe just put a little bit of white on and it's going to do justice for you the next time you go night fishing. Let's get into it. So when you're fishing in an area such as this canal and creek river entrance, try and use a bait found locally. Now I know just upstream from here or downstream in this case, there's a lot of nipper beds, okay, a lot of yabbies. And I've gone out and pumped a bunch of these today and they're beautiful, beautiful fresh bait. And the yabbies, are a local bait here that the fish are used to eating. So all I do here with that long shank hook is I go through the tail, through his belly, thread him down over the hook, and then put the barb into his head, just like so. And that is a perfect bait ready for the white. So generally you pull, you know, maybe two or three or four little ones then you'll get that real big animal come through and, and he'll smack your bait. But you can see that rod tip and that's the beauty of putting like a liquid paper or something white on that tip. Just paint the rod tip white. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Whoa, look at this one here. This is a better fish. I'm gonna put this one back in the water so he stays alive. Oh, oh, missed it. I'll tell you what, when it happens, it absolutely happens, it goes off. That was a really good fish, I missed them. All right, champ, you go in the drink, put another yabby on. You wanna keep that school with you at all times because he'll, they move around these little banks. And the thing is as well, if you catch a few fish and then it goes quiet, pull your anchor up and move about 20 or 30 feet to the left or right. You'll come across that same school again. Oh yeah, baby. Oh. oh, he's got a bit more weight to him. Oh, 
It's amazing when you fish after dark. Everything just settles down, everything slows down, the boating activity slows down, and the fish come out on the hunt. It's a beautiful night to do this. He's a better fish. Look at that, nice whiting. That's a beautiful, beautiful fish. So I'm using nippers or yabbies. Imagine if you're using wriggler worms or blood worms. Those things just go nuts. Oh, this one here's going off now. Jeez. This is the time you want to be fishing. Oh, it's all happening. Ah, missed him. Have a look at this. This is something that I want to show you. What I use, it's called a keeper net. Get it at Anaconda. Basically, with that, I just put him straight down into here. Float at the back end, and they just stay alive in the side of the boat. Perfect. Nice whiting. Have a look at that. A little key secret for you is, have a look at the weight of the sinker that I'm running here. This particular weight, I'm changing to suit the current. So when the current's running hard, I'm going up a little bit heavier. When the current backs off, I'm going lighter. And that's something you should be doing as well. Particularly in a built up area, you'll find the fish, they, they want to go as light as they can. I mean, there's tens of thousands of boats out there, okay? There's lots of anglers, a lot of people fishing. So there is a lot of pressure put onto those particular areas. So if you go for something a little bit lighter, again, to suit the current, it's going to do you justice. Even though that's a size five ball, there's a fair bit of current pushing through here at the moment. Beauty of that nice light tip rod generally catches the fish themselves, which is perfect. That's gold. Here he comes, nice whiting. Another good fish. Just perfect, look at that, eh? Beautiful, another one here, another one's on. This one here. Yep, oh, right on that school. Smacking it for a six. Another fish, look at that one. Another good one. Another big, beautiful fish. I'll get the hook out of that, get the hook out of the other one. And I reckon I'm nearly done. I've got more than enough for dinner. Put him in here. Look at that. Magnificent haul of whining, everyone. Put him in there. Got plenty of fish going on. Take this one off here. Thank you, buddy. There we have it. So I've got a lot of fish in my little keeping out there of some quality summer whiting or yellowfin whiting. It's just a nice couple of hours out here. Go and pump your nippers or yabbies, dig your blood worms or wriggler worms, whatever you like and use them on these particular species of fish. A lovely eating fish, great table uh, fish as well. I'll tell you what, they're a great fight, particularly on light tackle. Again, that one to three kilo Shimano outfits that I have, those nice little Sienna 2500s, even that little Sienna 1000 I got, uh, really puts up a nice little battle when you're talking beautiful fish such as that. Absolute quality. And of course that keeper net there is just keeping all of my fish nice and fresh. So that's me for the night. Here's a few tips for you to get you underway. I like to use the 7 foot 1 to 3 kilo spin combo, it's nice and light. A number 4 long shank hook, 50 centimetres of 6 pound fluorocarbon leader, yabbies and local worms, that'll be your best bet and bury your sinker on the tide changes. And of course thanks for watching Step Outside YouTube channel for lots of cooking and fishing action. Like, subscribe and of course comment for more catches like this and cooking recipes.